Look at what they value and look at their budget and what they're proposing. Romney wants to let the, he said in the first time. Welcome back, Jonathan. Their days, he's going to let the big banks once again write their own rules. Unchain Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. This country that we may not be in El Paso, Texas, is still racist at its foundation, at its core, and throughout this system. I think black people fall for confirmation bias, right? They, they, they like to hear what they want to hear. And I think this is why it, it gives them so much commitment to the Democratic Party because the Democratic Party say what they want to hear, right? And essentially, it's like parroting back what you think the people want to hear, right? Democrats play this to a T. And I think this is this, pretty much this is what gets them the black vote. They kiss the black people's A instead of telling the black people A the reality. There's a big quote, Thomas Sowell, another, another. This is why I like Thomas Sowell. He dropped gems, all right. This man, talk, this man says, "Hey, forgot the point already. I forgot. I forgot the the quote. Damn, I had the quote in my head. If you want to help people, you tell them the truth. If you want to help yourself, you tell them what they want to hear. And this is the Democratic Party. I just that quote synonymous the Democratic Party. Tell the people what they want to hear, so I can help myself. And this is what Obama did. But I digress." Are they in some sort of time warp? Did they sleep through the fact that a black man got elected and re-elected president of the United States of America? And the fact that there were 700 counties who voted for Barack Obama in 2008 and 2012, 200 of them switched to Trump in 2016. My, that, was, that, was, that was my dad. My dad switched from Obama to Trump. When were they bitten by the racist radioactive spider? <laughs> and guess what? The town that most voted for Donald Trump was Abilene, Texas, 80%. According to the 2010 census, it's 75% white. Guess which town just voted for their first black mayor? Abilene, Texas. And, and, he, and here's the funny part Democrats never want to recognize. They don't want to recognize that the first black politicians in U.S. history came from the Republican Party. And the Democrats didn't start adding black politicians to their party until like 1935, if I remember, if I got my dates correct. They, they don't want to bring up that history, but they want to make up this fake narrative about, oh, we don't, they're going to put you back in chain. All right, but you don't, want to, you don't want to mention your party's history putting black people in chain? I mean, you started it. But yeah, I, I digress, bro. I digress. Orlando Patterson is a Harvard sociologist and a Democrat. Here's what he said almost 30 years ago. America is now the least racist white majority Ooh. society in the Ooh, world. Oh, the race hustle is over to listen to that. a better record of legal protection <laughs> of minorities than any other society, white or black, and offers more opportunities to a greater number of black persons than any other society, including all of Africa. Where's the lie? Where's the lie? This is the joke. This is the joke I have. When people say, like, when I, when I say, hey, America is, used to be black people's greatest oppressor, but now it's its greatest liberator, People will call me names for that. But then I ask them, name me a place better to be black. And if you can name me one, why your ass ain't over there? That's my, that's like my first go-to argument. Because they know, like, where, where some of the richest black people exist is here in the United States of America. But they don't want to acknowledge that. They want to keep complaining about the best place to be black in, in America. When they got nothing to compare it to. The only thing they, the reason why they're criticizing America with is perfection but in reality perfection does look i don't suffer from imagination perfection is an imagination let's look at the reality here and the reality the reality here is america is the best place to be black that's the reality but they want to keep complaining oh it's not progressing enough because they're comparing america to perfection and this is where all this criticism is coming from oh uh, name a country that didn't practice slavery name me one every country in, in the world practiced slavery but for some reason, it's a special sin exclusively to America. Craziness. But I digress. <laughs> 